Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be reviewing an extremely controversial topic. Um, so here is my receipt for this lovely product. I got it on Ulta. I ordered it on, I don't have my phone, but I'm pretty sure I ordered it on the 8th. I'll put it down below, but... Yes, it has been about three or four days since I ordered it, so it came pretty fast in the mail. If you haven't guessed what it is yet, here it is. So I ordered the Subculture Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I finally caved. Um, basically, this has been one of the biggest, if not the actual biggest, um, palette that has been on the market and so basically what I've heard about it I have watched all of the beauty videos of who I personally enjoy watching and trust the most they did not like the palette so I guess I just thought I would buy it try it out if I don't like it I'm probably gonna return it because that's $42 plus shipping so it was fifty dollars and all um so yeah i took it i just took it out of the box i absolutely love the packaging i really don't understand how anyone wouldn't like this i love the velvet finish it's very luxurious it's the exact same kind as the modern renaissance palette by anastasia but yeah i just think that this is adorable packaging it's beautiful i love the feeling of it i love subculture i love the name of it love how that's yellow as well Basically, I absolutely adore the packaging. I think it's super cute. Inside, what we have here is the palette. You get the sticker cover on the mirror, and then you get this plastic protector on top of the product. So I'm just going to take this off, and as you can see, all of my shadows are intact. I did see a couple people say that they received um, their order and some of their uh, shadows were, you know, cracked or just completely destroyed. Mine are all intact and perfectly fine. I'm going to remove the mirror portion, just the thing, okay? So here's the palette, exactly how it should be. Um, it comes with the brush. So yeah, I guess I will do swatches. I hear that there's extreme fallout like all the time with this. So I guess what we'll do is just take it. Can't really see, but I I do know that Roxy has been an issue with these with this palette. So I guess we'll just take and very lightly. Okay, so yeah, that is just very lightly touched I don't know if you can see or not but there is some fallout and my brush is extremely pigmented but that's not an issue I'll just swatch this on I guess that's how I'll swatch I'll swatch with a brush and with my finger but I'll just use what I used from testing out the shades okay so that one isn't as pigmented as thought as there we go again I can't talk that one's pretty pigmented right there. Um, I'm trying to see where I can like, I guess like somewhere in this region. All right, so now we're going to try Dawn up here because obviously the other one's not gonna be. All right, so Dawn's pretty, um, pretty powdery. So we'll just swatch that like right here. You can't really see that one. I actually thought that these were going to be more pigmented because of how maybe it's just with the brush. We'll try um, Destiny now and go up here. Destiny wasn't horrible. Alright, again we're going to swatch that. Destiny seems to be pretty pigmented. There is, if we can get a zoom in on Destiny here. We're going to go in with Fudge. Now Fudge is a remake of Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadows. It is in her other collections and you can get it in a single, but I have heard that the fudge in this palette is completely reformulated as it is with your usual everyday fudge you would get from Anastasia Beverly Hills. So we'll go in with fudge. Fudge is, I mean, the most fallout so far that I've gotten has been from Roxy. So the other ones I haven't had too much of an issue with. We're going to just go in. 
and it is really powdery though. I'll say that, um, try to get you guys. So here is Fudge. Um, we're gonna go in with New Wave now, which is right here. I can't see because of this. Yeah, New Wave is a little bit on the powdery side as well. Um, it mostly, I find it comes off. Yeah, oh, I'm so bad was watching. But right here is New Wave. Um, now we're gonna go into All Star. That one's not that powdery until you put it on like your arm. So right here, oh, right here is All Star. All right, now going into Untamed. I also heard this was a problem shadow. Yeah, I definitely see the resemblance in how much fallout is with Roxy and Untamed. They do seem to be one of the two more. And this actually seemed to swatch really, really patchy on, if I can get it. This seemed to be really spl um, splotchy on my arm. I'm going to actually try to do Untamed. See, it came off really, really pigmented on... And I'll go, oh yeah, that went really, really nice, other than patchy on with the brush. We're going to go and see about Mercury now. I really didn't get any fallout from Mercury whatsoever, but I also didn't get a lot of payoff on my brush as well. If you can see it right here, it's super faint. Um, I'm going in with Edge now. That had a good amount of fallout. But also gave a nice payoff on not only my arm but on the brush as well. It's that bright yellow right here. Uh, the last two axis that gave a little, a good amount of fallout, and it also came on my arm patchy. I, in my opinion. Lastly, we're gonna go and look at Rowdy, which is the last dark purple right here, and that did give a good bit of fallout. So I'm just gonna. That's going to be right here on my elbow. So, I don't think this was as bad as what I have personally seen on um, Instagram, YouTube particularly. Uh, yeah, I don't think that the fallout is as harsh as what people were making it. And I also... I watched Stephanie Nicole's video. I think she's a great source just because she's kind of chill about everything she reviews and she's not trying to, you know, really make everything sound as bad and as hype. But I did watch hers and she basically just said if you go in with a very light hand, you know, you're going to get the payoff and you're not going to rip your palette apart. So that is what I wanted to try to do. I, w I didn't want to dig into my palette. I mean, I'll try to just so you can see but um I mean yeah as you can see there right there after I swirled around Roxy did give you know as you can see all of that extra powder you can see how much you know fallout Roxy gave but you know Anastasia Beverly Hills did release um a kind of a note for using this palette, why would you really want to dig your um, brush around in the product? So I definitely think that if you just go in with a really, really nice light hand, it will work just fine. I'm going to swatch with my finger now cube, and I'm going to just swatch that right here. Um, this, I feel, is kind of chunky. I did swatch this before I started the video just because I thought it was really pretty. As you can see right here, it has, like, undertones or it has, like, shifts, I guess, of pink. But it is, it's white. It looks white in the thing. Um, but yeah, as you can probably see right here at the top, I just feel like cube is kind of chunky and it's not as um intense as what i thought it was going to be uh going in with electric this is a i feel as if it's like a um kind of a greenish gold like dark gold kind of and i'm also going to swatch this this one was really nice i think but i don't think it's as pigmented it's kind of more of a sheer 
glow, but it is super pretty. I'm now going to go in with the last shimmer, which is Adorn. And this Adorn feels a lot more like wet, if that makes sense, than the other ones. Oh wow, and that's very, very pigmented. As you can see, it's very shimmery. Super, super nice. It's a really rich and pretty color. So now I'm going to just go in and do an eye look. I do want to do something a lot different just because I feel like everyone's been trying to accomplish something really cute and, you know, out there with this palette, but they just haven't been able to make it work. So I'm going to really follow the instructions on how Anastasia herself said to use this palette as, and I will be back with my review and my final thoughts on what I think of this palette. All right, guys, I am back, and I have to say I love this palette. I don't know if, like, some people got really bad batches or what the problem was. Maybe they were not using it correctly, but I made sure that I was going to make this palette work because, number one, I paid $42 for it, and I think the color options are extremely beautiful. So this is the look. I just did some, I think it looks like a galaxy. Like I think it looks super cool. I absolutely love the color edge. I think that that color is just absolutely stunning. Yeah, I think the color edge was just absolutely stunning. As you can see, I put it up in my brow bone and in the um, inner corners of my eye. So this is what the palette looks like. Oh, there goes my brush. But this is what the palette looks like after I was done using it. As you can see, there's literally no fallout, and I just opened it. I didn't blow this off. And, yeah, I used Cube, Dawn, uh, Electric, um, Axis, and All Star. And then I used New Wave and Edge for under my eyes. And I just think that this, I mean... I personally love this. Um, I think that I will put Axis here. I put that on my lid and I put Electric on top of it. I think that it just evened it out and it just made it look so, so nice, shiny. I absolutely love this palette. I'm going to like, honestly, I think I'm going to go with just what Stephanie Nicole said if you just lay a very light hand on this palette, you know, it's going to work. Like, I, I really don't see how this palette gave people problems. I didn't get the patchiness. I think that it blended, as you can see, it blended for me really, really nice. I mean, I just, I don't know. I really, really am enjoying this palette. I think the colors are absolutely amazing for $42.00. The Modern Renaissance palette, I literally is my go-to. Like every time I do my eyes, something in that palette is on my eyes. I I have really no complaints. Um actually I do have some complaints. Not really complaints, but like some pros and cons. I'll say that it took time to blend. This isn't one of those eyeshadow palettes that you can just get in, take a brush, blend easy in and out. No, like it took me time to blend. This look probably took me about 20 to 25 minutes to get everything blended how I wanted it to be blended and showing up the way I needed it to be. Uh, the, the crease color that I chose was All Star. A lot of people had issues with that being patchy and muddy and just not turning out nice. I personally, uh, I just really tried to go in with a light hand. I did use the method of using very little product at the beginning and building it up. That worked great for me. I use the brushes that I always use and they're not super expensive, you know, luxury brand, whatever. They're literally like some Elf, some Sigmas. Um, yeah, I got, this one is the one that I usually use the most. I don't even know where this is. I got this from Amazon for literally probably like $3. And it worked absolutely amazing. So for those people who are saying, you didn't use nice brushes, they're not good brushes, they're really cheap. I can't really say I agree with that excuse because I used a cheap brush and it worked just as good as if I used one of my Anastasia brushes or anything. So I'm going to say that 
that's really off the list. You can really use whatever brush you want and that works for you. It's all in how you handle this palette. Um, so yeah guys, I'm gonna basically say the same thing. Use it with a very light touch. Um, don't swirl your brushes in it. Don't push down on it hard. It is a very uh, loosely pressed palette. It's full of pigment. So I mean, you know what you're going in for. So, you know, don't ruin it. Um, yeah, I definitely think that you can get a lot of wear time out of this palette as well. And yeah, like I said, it did take a while to blend, but I mean, I knew that I was going in with that as soon as I got this palette from other reviews. I was kind of just preparing myself for the worst, but I am pleasantly surprised. And I'm very happy that I was pleasantly surprised because I don't have to take this palette back. So this is the look for today, guys. I am so happy you guys are watching my videos. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and hit the subscribe button. Let me know in the comments down below what you'd like to see next, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!